the Miami Dolphins' special teams have been nothing short of chaotic lately. Mistakes at key moments have been piling up, and the frustration is impossible to ignore. A lot of people have been calling for special teams coach Danny Crossman to be fired. And honestly, after watching this unit stumble again and again, it's hard to argue against that. The special teams have gotten worse during his time with the team. But one player in particular stands out in the middle of all these errors, linebacker Duke Riley. And the big question is, why is he still on the roster? Riley isn't some young, developing player. He's 30 years old and has been around the team for about four or five years. He's mostly been a special teams guy and a backup linebacker, not someone who makes a huge impact on defense. So, why does he keep getting chances when his mistakes have been so costly? What makes this even more frustrating is that there's a younger option waiting in the wings, Channing Tyndall. Drafted in the third round, Tyndall has mostly been inactive, but he's also a special teams player. Why not let him step in and see what he can do? Tyndall hasn't been given a real opportunity, and that's the problem. Instead of allowing a younger player to grow and develop, the Dolphins have kept him inactive while Riley continues to make mistakes. Some might argue that Tyndall should be cut if he's not progressing, but how can anyone judge his progress when he's barely seen the field? Preseason games showed flashes of his potential, but now, in the regular season, he's stuck watching from the sidelines. And for what? To keep Riley in a role he's struggling with? Let's break down Riley's blunders. In Week 3 against the Seattle Seahawks, the Dolphins had the Seahawks pinned at their one-yard line after a great punt by Jake Bailey. But it all went to waste because Riley committed a personal foul. The Dolphins had to re-kick, losing 30 yards in field position. You can't have a veteran making those kinds of mistakes. Then, the following week against the Tennessee Titans, Riley was at it again. The Titans had a short punt, and everyone on the Dolphins' return team knew to stay away. Everyone except Riley, that is. For some reason, he tried to field the ball, muffed it, and the Titans recovered. The play was overturned because of a replay showing a Titans player touched it first, but Riley should have never been near that ball to begin with. It's the type of mistake you'd expect from a rookie, not someone who's been in the league for seven years. And just when you think it can't get worse, it does. In Sunday's game against the New England Patriots, Riley's assignment was to block an edge rusher during a punt. Simple enough, right? Well, Riley's man blew right past him and blocked Bailey's punt. The Patriots missed the field goal that followed, but it was still another glaring mistake from a veteran who should know better by now. Three weeks in a row, Riley has made these kinds of errors. Three weeks in a row, these mistakes have hurt the Dolphins. Now, mistakes happen. There were short punts, missed field goals, and botched snaps in these games. That's football. But Riley's issues have become a pattern. It's not just a bad day at the office, it's happening too often. And it makes you wonder how much longer the Dolphins can keep him around. Why not give Tyndall the chance he deserves? He's younger, he's cheaper, and he's hungry to prove himself. At this point, it's hard to imagine he could do worse than Riley. Looking ahead, the Dolphins have to think about the future. With the salary cap tightening up in the coming years, they need to start developing younger players who are still on their rookie deals. That's how good teams stay competitive. Riley's been given plenty of chances, and it's clear he's not getting any better. It's time to see what Tyndall and the other young guys can do. Let's stop holding them back for the sake of keeping a veteran who's not performing. So, the question is, will the Dolphins make the change? Or will they keep rolling with Riley, hoping he finally stops making the same costly errors? Only time will tell, but it's getting harder and harder to justify his spot on this roster when younger, more promising players are sitting on the bench, waiting for their chance. The Dolphins can't afford to keep making the same mistakes.